you spot anything you think I ought to know about, tell me. Absolutely. You friendly with Eisendeller? Most of the employees they see coming in morning and night, but old Marcus, I mean, uh, Dr. Eisendeller, he almost never left his lab. He afraid of somebody? I think it had something to do with the air outside and the germs. I once heard him complain about it. Smart. What was his job? Drop test chief engineer. The lab runs tests to see how a replicant would perform in different planetary gravitational fields. That kind of thing. One of the other engineers could tell you more. How do I get in to see the big boss? You don't, unless he wants to see you. Okay. How do I make him want to see me? Well, you could call his personal assistant. Who is? Don't know, offhand. Yeah, I get the picture. You know anything about Tyrell's computer system? Security is tight as a drum, if that's what you're asking. Somebody tried to access restricted data from the terminal in Dr. Eisendeller's office. But they couldn't get in. Yeah. Looks like Dr. Tyrell keeps his files safer than he keeps his employees. Hey, get lost. We both got work to do. I got a couple of questions for you, Captain. First one's on the house. The rest you pay for. If you want chit chat, you hire a hooker. This ain't no social club. Pour me one. Just one? One, but one good one. Two minutes. That's how much time I give every stranger that wanders in here off the street. Sell a lot of stuff that way? I don't encourage browsers. What impresses me are people who know what they want and are not afraid to pay for it. What's the most expensive thing you got in here? Value is a relative notion. What's significant to you might be meaningless to me. And vice versa. Everything here is guaranteed. The finest, most authentic anyone can get. Is that a 45 blaster under your coat, or are you just happy to be here? You got good eyes. They ought to be. They're the only organs of mine that survived the Phobos Wars intact. Ray McCoy, Rep D-Tech. Blade Runner, huh?
How come I never heard of you? I just got assigned. Yeah, I'm kind of buddies with Davy Holden. How's he doing? Word is he's gonna be okay. That skin job must have been pretty damn quick getting by Davy like that. He's the best in the business. He'll be back on the job soon. You got any decent ammo for my piece? You mean the good stuff? Because I know them police issue spitballs just don't cut it. Not these days. Yeah, I know how it is. If you want to drop a skin job, you need a little extra oomph. I got a few clips around here somewhere. If you got the chin yen for it. Okay, let's have it. Thanks for your time. Those are real beauties. Radiation goggles from the off-world wars. The 2017 model. Hell, the skin jobs were the only ones who wore them. The humans weren't allowed to get that close to the flashpoint. Thanks for your time. Step up, step up. Mama, you better cook you something special. Put a glow in your cheek. McCoy, LPD. Mind if I ask you a couple of questions? Questions? They always need answers. 